when you have confirmations these days, it's very, very political, it seems. And when you were confirmed, it wasn't that political. But today, you have these votes that are very, very narrow, and the Democrats are always voting for the Democratic nominee, uh, the president, and the Republicans are voting for, for the uh, Republican president's nominee. How do you think that you can avoid politics when you have the rest of the country looking at the court in such a political way? Well, you have about four questions in there. Well, pick any <laughs> one. They're very you interesting. Like. They're very interesting. I mean, what I usually say about the confirmation process is I was the confirmed person. I wasn't the confirming person. I was the appointed person, not the appointing person. And so asking me about this is about like uh, okay. asking for the recipe for chicken a la king from the point of view of the chicken. Okay. All right. So I, I've, I've, I've used that a lot. But we did work, both of us, in the Senate. And I, I wonder if you agree with me about this. I, I, I feel pretty strongly that the senators will ask the question and vote in ways that they believe their constituents, by and large, want. And if they uh, don't, they won't be senators for too long. So if you think we're too much at loggerheads, it's too much a question of your political affiliation and not enough of a question of, well, where can you get together in the merits? President Biden has put together a commission that's going to look at the court, um, and you have already articulated your view that you don't think expanding the size of the court is a wonderful idea. I think you've said that. What I've said is that they better be pretty careful about it, because two can play at that game. And of course, what's worrying me, and I say this, I try to explain to people in the book uh, uh, the extent to which politics is relevant or not relevant or present or not present and in what form uh, in, in, in the work of our court. And uh, what worries me is that people will think we're junior league politicians. And if they think that, the first, second thought should be, why don't I have a senior league politician? <laughs> and once you begin to think along those lines, two can play at that game, as I said. You could have Republicans appointing and then Democrats appointing and vice versa. But I see the overall tendency of that is uh, given the history, given the way we work, given the country, et cetera, as weakening the confidence of the average person in the decisions of the court.